growing up in Louisville, Kentucky. You know, my father was coaching because a lot of people asked me what would I have done if I didn't play basketball. I'm like, you know what, I can't answer that question because my life was I'm centered around it. I just remember, man, just getting the socks and just throwing them in the lampshade, whatever I could find, you know, that even would simulate a basketball or a goal. Those are my first memories, just being around my house and finding whatever I could just, just to shoot or just to act like I was playing basketball. Playing for your father, you know, going through four years where you actually look at your father, I, that experience, that's something that I always, I'll never forget, you know, just getting to know him on a much deeper level. One of the things that, that kind of drove me at that time was I didn't want to put it on him the pressure of starting me and playing me allowed me a lot of freedom. I wanted it to be no question that I was the best player out there. That doesn't come with just doing it in the games. That comes with you know working hard in the off season. But to actually be there with him every day and see how he handles being the first black coach in the S in the Southeastern Conference and people talking you know about you because you're the first black coach and and not getting a lot of support and. Uh, a lot of criticism, and he still came out, came out of the fire like gold. Those are the things that you just say, man, that's, that's my dad. What has helped me is discipline and, and uh, just keep working, you know, keep working at it. I never want to waste a day or waste uh, the talent that God gave me. Every day, you should go out there like it's your last time going out there. That's it.